Mm-hmm. Well, anyone want to consider a collection? Is that a possibility? I'm not biased at all toward collecting sponges. Of course am I? not. No. Okay, and so we. This is a new one. Copy that now. What do you think? No, we've not seen this before, Chris. Yeah, I, think, I think that may have been the first time Chris has suggested a, a collection of a sponge. <laughs> uh, really? That's fine. You guys are the sponge experts, and this also looks different to me, so um, it uh, seems like a useful collection to me. Okay, and we Should have we look at the, about the attachment. We can look at the attachment sure. first. Yep. Uh, I mean, the rest of our biologists, what do we think? Yay, nay? Remember, we have about uh, four and a half, four and a half more hours. Four and a half ah, more hours. And Tara Luke says it has a tiny crinoid on it. Do you want that? Uh, a little bit. Report swinger man. Tina also notes the crinoid. The root or the base. What does the attachment look like? Go ahead. Oh yeah, I think we should get the rock too. Yeah, copy. Don't you? You want that attachment? You mean that? You mean that rock that's yeah. in place? That yeah. rock? Sure. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Got it. <laughs> All right, Got um, it. Okay. So as long as we can get some good imagery of the base before we collect, because it is the port towards you. quite it's unlikely that we will be able to get it when yeah. it yeah. comes yeah. up yeah. off yeah. of the bottom. Copy that. Yeah, it might pop off. And then, uh, Never know. Switch cameras. With some stuff. Yeah, so that's a nice image because um, no, you won't be able to get the base. I mean, you can <laughs> clip it somewhere down on the stock if you're going to collect it. So uh, we've got information on the base as a result of this close-up, so that's great. Okay, great. Chris, is this uh, one continuous stock or is this one growing off another stock? I can't tell that fuzziness of that right. spun sclerite or something else. Um, I think something's growing on it, and I think this is one continuous stock, but but not sure. Yeah, I, so I asked the question just because I know you say there's that important difference between, I forget what you call it, but the, uh, you know, the spicule anchor versus the hold fast. Come on out wide. So the terms, I don't think anyone's probably going to want to memorize this except for me, but uh, we call a basophytus uh, attachment where it actually creates a plate like what we were just looking at, uh, a plate that glues onto the rock. And then if it anchors itself via um, loose spicules that hook into the rock, we refer to that as a lophophytus attachment. Eventually, I will learn that script. Hydraulics up? Yes, hydraulics are up and you're ready to go. So while we're setting up uh, for this collection, you can watch as this uh, sponge is going to be collected. Just wanted to let everyone know about this um, mission. Just want to point yeah, go ahead, Chris. Out. Yep. Um, he can grab that stock, and it should remain fine. I mean, it'll cut pretty easily. And um, this is a soft sponge. It shouldn't be brittle. It should be a quite an easy collection just to grab it by the stock. Yeah, copy that. Okay, thank you, Chris. Pilot copied. This campaign, this mission was uh, planned and, oh, broke right off. Conducted, it's being conducted by the NOAA's Office of Ocean Exploration and Research. We have other NOAA partners, the National Marine Fisheries Service, the Marine National Monuments Program, the Deep Sea Coral Research and Technology Program, and the National Center for Environmental Information. And that uh, last partnership with NCEI is what's making it possible for us to be able to make these data and images available to you, uh, to the public, to our scientific colleagues, the scientific community, in a really near record time. It's uh, about